Should still be able to, um... I shouldn't... I don't think they'll be able to retrain their units, really. No! I'm taking that city back. I swear it. I swear it to whatever the whatever gods the end wave people worship. I don't know. Probably a giant pig or something. Or a giant goat. Something stupid. Okay, so well, there are some positive um outcomes from that battle. We now know that the um end wave garrison units aren't that reliable. So it's not like the Dunedine at all where you're uh Doing the volunteers were actually pretty good. And don't worry, we just replaced our general with this one. He was his loss totally expendable. Uh Alright. We're gonna get some personal revenge here. Personal revenge on these bastards. Uh, gotta make sure I leave kind of enough men here for a garrison. I feel that's enough. To uh, I went on the wrong. Oh no, I can just cross there anyway. Noble death. No. Okay, well, instructions complete here. What can we build a grain exchange to begin with? My relationships with Linden have went up even more. Ridiculous. Um. I need some paved roads. How's our Dol Vaughn doing up here? We haven't checked in a while. Same old, same old. Nothing's happening. Down here, now that Gondorian force is long gone. Everything is still normalish in Farad and Adwef. Those two cities over there, Sadurian and Londaire, their economy is booming. It's going right up. It's awesome. I wonder how the other factions are going. Usually sometimes when I play like single player campaigns basically I'll just uh, turn off Fog of War just to check out like you know how each faction is doing. Not going to do that this game. Look the Wandering has been found. Uh, Captain Rod's going to try and relieve. Oh what do I want to do here? Um. Your orders, my lord. To battle. We have triumphed. Okay. My lord. As you wish. We can go no further today. Not possible. March to exhaustion. Yes, my lord. I will only um. in battle. I'll destroy this force. I have to destroy this force. I don't know what city that is. Whatever city it is, it looks pretty freaking cool. The uh, loading screens in this mod are really quite amazing. Of course it is. Let's move my whole army forward. They have archers of their own. There we go. Some of my guys are already in range. My infantry will march forward, I guess. Where are they going? They're not trying to be running away from me. Come back here. Look at the hobbits. <laughs> They're not that short. Where are, the, where are they actually going? This... 
is annoying. Come back. Fine, I'll just kill them all as they're running away. Let's speed this up. Oh wait, no, they've stopped. They're turning to fight. Oh, these guys can hide anyway. That's a cool little bonus. How many have they lost? You know, 30% to archers. Just move up our infantry. I'm too impatient. I'm too impatient to just kill them with arrows. So I'm going to move up my infantry and, and uh, slaughter them that way. Half the enemy force remains. <laughs> that was a no, 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 no. Skirmish mode, go away. We don't need you. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Let's move these dudes around. End this quickly. And from behind. And this should be a simple victory. Very simple indeed. Our men have slain the enemy. There we go. Without him, his troops behold how our cowardly foe ran. This is a clear. Aha. That battle takes the record for our most successful battle yet. Uh, I think the previous one we lost 22 men, that one we only lost 21. So, that's good news. Oh, ransom that. Oh, yeah. Oh, they've actually fled back inside the city. Interesting. Relations worsened even more. Hmm. Well. Sorry. Um, well, I think that's just pretty much what we can do for that turn. I guess... I gotta grab Argon back, though. That's a master. Oh, what is this? Is this another relief force? Ah. Uh, see, once my units cross the river there, I'll basically just go straight for the, um... What, is that a Dunlending force now? I'll, I'll besiege the settlement and the Dunlendings can keep the fucking... Unless he's blocking me from moving. If he's blocking me from moving, I'll be so sad. Lebanon under siege. Pelagin. Ah, oh, you fucking hell! You better retreat. These guys better retreat. Uh, no, <laughs> no. If the Dunlendings get there, I will be so mad. No, this is horrible. This is the worst outcome. And look, they're attacking over here now. Need to quickly get a town guard going. Captain Pippin. Woodland Hunters. So it's like a hobbit captain leading a whole bunch of man hunters. Well, not like hunters of men. Just like, you know, manish hunters. Um, what can I do? I can't do anything. I'm pretty. Actually, no, I could do this within this place. May as well. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking. Come on, Dunlendings. Don't go for. Don't go for Argond. Please don't go for Argond. They're gonna go for Argond. I know they are. This is this is bad. I'm gonna have like another settlement just cut off, and I can't like attack the Dunlendings, because that would be so bad. Starting two wars like that. Here it is. Moment. Oh. Oh. You don't know how relieved I am. That was... A oh, mission failed. What now? I'm not trading with orcs. South Affiliates attacked. Orphanx under siege again. 
this stuff is. Uh, they've moved into here, now they actually have a. This shouldn't be a problem. Get these guys joined with this army. Awesome. We got. And the stuff here is going up. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So where those forces come from? Uh, Breland even still at war with Angmar? Did they somehow broker a peace? No, they didn't. What the hell is Angmar doing? Are they even doing anything? What's Bree's military like? I've never actually played Bree on this mod, so I don't have no idea what their economy's like, but their economy appears to be much better than mine. Check this out. So, ranking, military ranking, I have much more men than I do, double my troops. Financial ranking? Wow, they've been finances are down the drain. Um, we have a Breland, a general here. Um, I should be able to hold this. If I'm not able to hold it, it'll be like some stupid game of... I don't even know. I don't even know what the game would be. It'd be like, I'd lose one settlement, take one, and then lose it again, and then take the other one. Oh, it'd be fucking... That's, it's like classical overextension. The Dunlendings are back. What are you doing? Are you gonna do something? Like, it's like, preferably not attack me, but they're just, like, lurking. They're being creepy. It's like, I feel like I'm sieging the city, and I look up, and there's just a whole bunch of Dunlendings watching from, like, a mountain. What are they... This stalking me? Look at them. They have an entire army just marching around doing nothing. That can't be cost efficient. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be more wouldn't it make more sense to take my life and then my land? Like, you know, when you think about it. It's not gonna be too easy to take my lands while I'm still alive, yeah. Five turns, five turns. You know, I gotta wait this out. I can't afford to attack. Is it unit only got one man left? It does. Seriously. How has it just not been... What, what, what would this upgrade be? One. <laughs> Is it even worth having, really? Okay, uh... Next turn. Oh, that's right. Uh, my spy is gonna teleport. And, oh, he got... This guy's 80! Holy crap! I'm pretty sure in Fair Day's Total War that, um, well at least it used to be like this anyway, generals who started off on the map actually can't die, they're all immortal. So provided you get, say, a couple thousand turns in, you may have managed characters, you have like, managed characters who are, like, hundreds of years old. Like, obviously if they're doing the dying, that's not a big deal, but like, you have like, fucking... King fair than living forever. Provided he doesn't die in battle first. Oh, look, we've got a little movie here. We've all seen these before. Trade increase. Look at him, he's a pretty good spy. He's actually on like two off max. Okay. No, they didn't. No, they're right behind me now. What What are you doing? Why are you here? Ah, oh, I swear. Let's build a merchant's wharf. Just why not? Why the fuck not? Uh, what are the underlings going to do now? Look, they're making the ground dirty. Look. Oh my god, what is wrong with them? Okay, what are they going to do? Here it comes. What are they going to do? Nothing. They're just going to stand there. This is... Holy shit, these done learnings. Who's, li who's the captain? I gotta look out for this guy. He's like... I gotta get a restraining order. Military report, our army armories are at full capacity. Awesome. I'm pretty sure I've unlocked all the outstanding, but I hear him love me that much. Holy crap. Captain Manfor. Manfor, he's that's the name I have to remember. Oh shit. Okay, they actually have a decent amount of men here now. 
Um, I'm going to recruit you. I'll have that up soon. I have a forward base, a forward base of operations. It sounds very military like. You know, Anadwaif people wouldn't use those words. They'd just be like, yeah, we have like, we're just spawning people in, just breeding like crazy. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Kind of makes me wish the spies here were like Rome 2 spies, you know, I could just poison them. Okay, there's a. Okay, Metraif didn't go under siege, that's good. It's good so far. I should probably split my forces into two separate armies. Um, one just striking directly north, and then one going towards the Shire. Because Bree's been decent. They've got quite a bit of territory. So, they're not exactly a, a small faction. And unless I leave all my settlements, you know, highly defended, then they're just going to take them when I get them. So, town guard here. Alright. I'm going to mark it down. Get some river spearmen. Modron, a new family member, relations improved. <laughs> Look at this, these factions love me. They love me so much. Well, um, I think we're going to end this episode here. It's getting a little bit long. Uh, I think I added, added some extra time from last episode because it, uh, I think I did, I'm not exactly certain, because last episode en ended about 10 minutes earlier than I would have liked it to. Um... I think we'll just actually we'll go one more. We'll end one more turn, and you, and then we'll see what happens with the war against Bree after that. Um, okay, as you can see, the Dunlendings moved off. That's good. They're probably going to come back now, though. Let's see. They didn't. The Dunlendings, in fact, did not come back. They're nearby, though, now I can feel it. They haven't truly left. They're not truly gone. They're lurking around somewhere. Doing something weird. Doing something creepy. Going through the pictures of me they have. South Philly attacked. Yep. That's really not surprising. Where are they? There they are. Wait, no, that's not. That's a different Dunlending army. What are they doing? We have a fort there. And some docks. And we have some recruitment reports and some end of turn reports. And next turn, well, next episode, we're going to have a showdown here. We're going to get revenge for the men we lost at Argond for our. Boisil. We're going to get revenge for that. And what factions do I actually have to destroy? Breland and the Shy. Oh, I have to destroy these guys, but they like me. Oh, that's not fair. Uh, it's going to be faction leader against faction leader. Um, tribal warlord against jumped up in innkeeper who's somehow faction leader. You, 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 like, come on, divide and conquer. Like, I love you, but you couldn't just make up a character. Why is he? Why? Oh, oh well. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Make sure you read the stories. Um,. And yeah, stay tuned. We'll be be back soon. So far, the update schedule seems to be every two to three days. That may change in the future. Um, but I'll try and get new stuff out as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, once again, thank you.